Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Jace P Success in Lancaster, Ohio. I'm so excited about this adventure. The first aquarium I see among entering this store is this beautiful, absolutely beautiful clownfish aquarium. Ladies and gentlemen, this store actually breeds clownfish, so we are in store for a magnificent adventure. Over here on this side of the wall, it looks like I see some little crabs. Maybe some little hermit crabs. I'm really unsure. Check out these small baby fish. They are called fry. Check out this clownfish aquarium. Looks like we have an orange storm clownfish and some corals inside of here. And over here, down below, it looks like they have a whole bunch of baby larvae, or better known as ascolados. The store owner says these larvae are not ready yet. They are not ready until they are juveniles. A little aquarium substrate down there. I prefer sand. They also have some tanks that's pre-made up, all set up for you. You can buy it for $2.39. Nice. Take a look at this cichlid aquarium. It's like three cichlids in there. I see a couple peacocks. Also, they have everything you need or want for an aquarium setup. Now let's journey on back and take a look and see what they have in these aquariums. My friends, look at this fish. This fish looks like it's invisible. I also see a neon tetra and a, looks like a bino sucker fish, pleco. In this aquarium, well, this aquarium is loaded with all types of fish. I do see a rainbow shark in there though. Those definitely are electric blues. Wow, take a look at these exquisite sharks. And over here, I see a few catfish and some rainbow fish. Very nice, very pretty. Okay, folks, that's just the beginning. Now, let's venture on to the back of the store. This is their saltwater area, except for this cichlid aquarium right here. And up here, Check out the FX's. Look at this beautiful, amazing surgeon fish. Wow, this is one beautiful tank. And over here, my friends, we have an amazing Picasso trigger fish. Moving right along, we have a Red Sea South and Tang. Also a very colorful red fire fish. Everyone take a look at the long nose hawkfish. Check out this black, white, and yellow box, box face. Inside this little cool aquarium, we have two snails and it looks like a catfish. Well, let's journey right along and see if they still have the There's warehouse the in the back. We'll have to travel through this door to see more fish. Wow, of course we will see something more amazing on our way back. Check out this albino ascolado. And over here, we have two black ascolados. Wow. It kind of sort of looks like they're hibernating or something. They are not moving. They're very still. They are huge, though. They look amazing. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. Well, let's continue on our journey. You have to go back through all this stuff to get to their warehouse. This is just a little storage area where they store a bunch of aquarium stuff. But back here, check it out. As you can see, they have tons of aquariums for sale. Check out this aquarium against the wall. Check out this, these angelfish. Very pretty. Look, there's two of them. There's a black angelfish and a white and orange angelfish inside this aquarium. Also, I see another one right there. And what is that? It looks to me like they have a rainbow shark in here. Wow. And also I see maybe a pleco back there on the glass. Yeah. That's a nice rainbow shark. Actually, have tons of aquariums, tons of stuff going on inside of here. Check out this one. Hands down, this is the best one in the entire store. Look at this aquarium, everyone. Look at the iridescent sharks in there. The silver dollars. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm blown away by this aquarium. There are so many fish inside this aquarium. I see iridescent sharks, blood parrot cichlids, bala sharks, 
plecos, silver dollar fish. My, my, my. What an amazing aquarium. Get a load of this huge cichlid. Wow, that's a blood parrot cichlid. And that, that's an iridescent shark. And over there, that's a bala shark. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Look down there, you guys. There's two suckerfish down there. Two common plecos. My friends, over here is where they keep their feeders. They have goldfish and meadows. Well, all right, let's go back over here and take a look at the rest of these cichlids over here. And then we're gonna adventure upstairs to the clownfish area. Over in this area, they have like 30 or 40 aquariums. Let's check them out. Oh, cichlids, my favorite. Everyone knows I love cichlids. This tank is filled with all kind of assorted African cichlids. And right above there, wow, look at these snowy white Wyoming clownfish. Amazing. Those are very nice, very nice, clean aquarium too. Over here, we have the same thing. Tons of cichlids in here and also a excellent filtration system below. Everyone check out this guy. He's in here all by himself. This is a giraffe cichlid. I wonder why he's all alone. Maybe he's been a little bad boy. And look at her sucking on that rock like that. Sucky, sucky, sucky. This is a sucker fish, y'all. <laughs> of course. Check out these piranhas. These guys have razor shark teeth with tooth enamel structure similar to that of a shark. The word piranha actually means fish tooth. So with that being said, do not go sticking your hand inside this aquarium. They will bite. In these two aquariums, we have a peacock cichlid and a red devil cichlid. Let's take a look back here, my friends. I spot turtle food and a goldfish. And there's two turtles inside of here. Looks like two painted turtles. Marvelous. <laughs> they have a nice little setup here. It's all right. Now let's see what they have in this other big tub over here. Nice water sprout going on, fine little pond. Very colorful fish. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I would really like to hold one of those aquatic turtles. Just reach down here and grab one of these. Come here, come here, buddy. Let me hold you real quick. This turtle big. Ow, his nails are scratching my hands. Come here, hold still. Look at him, you guys. Look at him, he is nice. Oh, he can't see that good. Let me put him on the light so he can see better. Looks good? Yeah, I like it. Very, very cool aquatic turtles. Now let's journey on upstairs to the clownfish room. Three clownfish here. Oh. Sweet. Yeah, so those are all the parents over there with the flower pots. Some of them have eggs. Right now you can see um, inside usually they're, these ones are really new, but it's like orange. Um, see the dots almost. And then everywhere else is basically their offspring, except for a couple of them are also um, breeding pairs. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, these guys are a good example. The tomatoes, that's their, a bunch of eggs on the outside of their farm lots. Oh, right here, those are eggs? Yep, right there. Yeah, oh, they lay wow. a lot and very consistently. <laughs> Some of the ones don't lay that big of batches, but they almost always have a ton. 
Wow. How long do they Most of their lives, I think. Really? Yeah, they, so, they're all born male, and then once they pair off, so if you were to take, like, two out of here, they'll pair off. The bigger ones turn into a female. And then that, once it's female, it can't change, but say, like, his partner dies, if you put another one in, then they'll pair. So, and then if the female dies and you put another one, then whichever one ends up being the bigger one, then it'll switch and they'll pair off. But if you never take two, yeah, they're they're inter they're really cool creatures. But if you um, keep them in a group like that, they'll all stay male. So it we have people who want like you know a bunch to school, but they can only put two. But once you put two, you're kind of screwed. You either have to take them out or you're stuck with two because then the pair will get really aggressive and oh. they'll start breeding. You see, it almost looks like dust. <laughs> um, but like this guy's coming right up. He's a. Those are all little babies. Um, yeah, he's pulling. I think two batches tonight, and then they should hatch. Wow. These up there are so small that almost anything else will eat them. Mm -hmm. So these are live rotifers. This is what I have a so they're like ocean bugs, basically. So all that little dust looking stuff is actually like live rotifers. So that's the only thing small enough for those guys to eat um, that won't eat them basically. Mm -hmm. And then eventually in like the orange in those two buckets over there, mm -hmm. that's um, live brine shrimp. Mm -hmm. So just like baby brines. And once they get a little bit older, then they'll eat those because they're big enough too. Oh, okay. And then eventually they just eat, you know, pellets and normal fish food, but they're young like that, they're so small, they can only, you know, handle to eat certain things mm -hmm. without getting eaten. Jeez. They're so little. Look how small they are in here. This big one inside here. Oh, jeez. when they're about to lay eggs, like those guys right there, they are getting so aggressive. So I have a feeling they're gonna lay their first batch any day now. Okay. Uh, they have teeth? Yes, they do. Not all fish have teeth, but they are one of, luckily they're pretty friendly fish, but once you get into, you know, them becoming parents, they're a little bit different. They can be a little bit more aggressive. And the tomatoes are one of the most aggressive um, Clownfish out there. They're wanted, yeah. They're, you can tell they're a whole different look from the other ones, too. Guys, we waited three years for them to have their first batch of eggs. And they're one of the, you know, more unique, like desirable ones. So we literally <laughs> were like praying for them. We wanted them to have babies so bad because they're just so cute. And finally they <laughs> did. And then finally we've been figuring it out how to, you know, keep them. And so that batch. To the, on that right, that's actually the oldest of their babies that we have. Oh. Okay. So we're very excited about this guys. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. That's really cool. Well, that was very cool. Well, before we get out of here, let's check out these garamis. These are garamis, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a great adventure at JP Success in Lancaster, Ohio. Please like subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.